Hi guys, Blake and Matt from FootballBoys.co.uk and we're back on the route again through the brand new Magista Obra 2 by Nike Football. Comes after the Magista Obra 1, which was launched for the 2014 FIFA World Cup two years ago. How does it actually fit and feel? Matt's going to do the testing, I'll be doing the reviewing. Let's find out. So the marquee feature to the new Magista Obra 2 is this Flynet heat map upper. As you can see it's on both sides of the boot, on the lateral side of the boot and around the toe box and onto the middle side of the boot. Basically it's just trying to display where you touch the ball the most. So where it's pink on this side and on the instep there, that's where you touch the ball the most and the dimples are actually more aggressive and denser in that region. Then it sort of flattens out onto the orange and then onto the vault yellow. The dimples are actually just featured on the touch zones of the boot, so they're not featured on the back portion of the boot, they're just featured on the touch zone. So on the lateral side, bends around to the toe box and onto the middle side of the boot. And it's most dense where you touch the ball the most on the instep there for passing and on the lateral side for dribbles. So the second gen Magista Obra again uses Flyknit, but we see added foam pods on the touch zones of the boot. Again, Flyknit from heel to toe. Really it's not the softest Flyknit material on the market and it's about the same sort of flexibility and softness as the first generation Obra. But it's featured from heel to toe, it's going to be very uniform and those added foam pods will add a bit of protection when you're playing your game. Okay guys, so I've been testing a new Magista Obra 2 for about an hour now, so it's now time to talk about how they actually fit and feel. Now in terms of the fit, they are actually quite naturally wide fitting, however don't worry, I have normal width feet. And because those Brio cables are either side of the boot and that slightly compressive flying it upper, it fits me really nice and snug. So wide fitted players, perfect view because it's naturally wide, but narrow fitted players are normal just like me. The Brio cables, the laces and the flying it will still be a snug fit for you. Talking about the size and they're definitely true to size. I would usually go for half a size down for that really tight snug responsive fit but they are true to size so I wouldn't recommend going half a size down and you definitely don't need half a size up so true to size is definitely the way to go. So another big change to the Magista Obra 2 is with the dynamic fit collar. Yes it's got a completely new design, it's sort of more anatomical shape so it's designed to sort of wrap your ankle much more aggressively and on the sides here it's actually quite thick much thicker than what we saw on the first generation Obra and in my eyes that's designed to add a bit more protection especially for your tackles and it's lower on the Achilles region and lower on the front portion here just to sort of fit a bit better and it's going to be much easier to put on itself. So two technologies which are the same for the Magista Obra. One is the ACC or All Conditions Control technology just to provide a consistent touch in all weather conditions, especially wet weather conditions. And we see a translucent or transparent Nike skin layer just to waterproof the boot from the Flyknit upper. <laughs> So let's talk about the actual break-in time of the new Magista Obra 2. Now they are a little bit stiff straight out of the box and a little bit stiff than what you found on the Obra 1. So they will just take a few sessions to become flexible. I've been wearing these for an hour now and they have become slightly more flexible and they are very comfortable. So just allow yourselves a couple of sessions before taking them out on the match day. So I've taken the right boot off to talk about the actual feel of the upper. And as we can see from the outside, it has that raised dimpled effect. And you can especially feel that when touching and striking the ball, it gives you a nice damp an effect and nice cushioning feedback which is very premium and something that I'm a big fan of. A little bit similar to the Hypervenom Phantom 2. It has that grippy texture as well especially on that Hypervenom boot as well so very similar in regards to how it actually performs. It's slightly thicker than what the Hypervenom is but you do get a slightly more dampened and cushioned feel which is very very good. Looking inside the boot and it does have an in inner lining to it. It's a bit like a duvet so it does wrap the foot nicely very comfortable and again does offer that nice cushioning feel. So overall if you're a player that wants that really nice high quality feedback when touching and striking the ball, the new Magista Obra 2 is definitely for you. So two other features which are very similar from the Magista Obra 1 is the Brio cables and the off center lacing system. Now the off center lacing system is again towards the middle side of the boot so a larger lateral side of the boot Great for your speed dribbles, great for players like Iniesta, Goetze, who need that larger lateral side of the boot for controlling the ball. And the Brio cables themselves really lock down the foot into the shoe, nothing different there. The cables themselves sort of merge with these foam pods, work together very well to sort of lock down your foot into the shoe. 
and the Flyknit upper and dermat foot collar also help to make this boot very responsive. But it's not the most responsive boot by Nike. The Mercurial Superfly 5 is easy the most responsive boot by Nike football. So a great picture seen on the Magista Obra 1. We see exactly the same thing on the Magista Obra 2. A glass nylon chassis. It's a slightly different design. Great for wide footed footballers, especially players like me. Really, really wide feet. So wide footed footballers can suit the Magista Obra 2 just as well as the Magista Obra 1. And we see this new rotational traction system on the forefoot here just to help one two pivoting turns for the central midfield playmakers as well as center halves. Anyone on the pitch can actually wear the Magista Obra 2 depending on what you like in a football boot. And we see slightly conical studs. They're not quite conical, but they're sort of teardrop shaped, very similar to the Exxon Plus Pure Chaos's stud system. So four on the heel and a few more on the forefoot. Overall decent traction and pivoting and turns with the Magista Obra 2. So we've looked at how the Magista Obra 2 actually feels and fits. However, how do they perform, which is very important. Where well, in my opinion, they perform very well. And it almost is a combination of the Superfly, the Hype Venom, and also the previous Magista Obra. So this Magista Obra 2 is a really great boot. It's very responsive due to those Brera cables either side of the boot. So you do feel very strapped in and responsive. It has that nice grippy texture on top of the upper, which is raised as well. So in terms of feeling responsive, it has that. It's very comfortable because of the inner lining, it has that. It has that grippy application on top of the raised dimpled upper, so you get some really luxury feedback when touching and striking the ball. And you do feel like you can actually hit a really nice strike because you do get some nice feedback and it's a little bit thicker than what you'll find on the Superfly and also the Hyphenum. So overall, if you are a player that wants a very high performing boot, then Magista Obra is definitely a boot that you should look for. So guys, a major factor which has nothing to do with performance is the design and colorway. Now the Magista Obra features a very, very bright and modern colorway. You've got Volt Yellow as the primary color of this boot, bit of turquoise on the heel there, and pink and orange sort of complete that heat map design. Bit of black on the Swish logos to complete the design. Overall, a very modern and bright colorway that does float my boat. If this doesn't float your boat, you can go for the Elite Edition, which is pretty much white, seafoam green, and Volt another sort of minimized edition from the launch design and of course you've got that pitch dark edition which is pretty much all black that's probably my favorite one so far so Matt how do you think the Magista Obra 2 win? well in terms of how they actually performed today in the test I thought they did really well compared to the Magista Obra 1 it's not actually a great deal of difference however because of that new application on top of the upper that's actually a little bit dotted it gives you a nice dampen effect when touching and striking the ball and with that there's also a lot more comfort compared to that over one inside there's a lining it's a little bit cushioned and it's going to give you a really nice feel when laced up in the boot overall slight minimal modifications compared to the over one but it does make for a slightly better boot and i definitely have to agree with you man the magista over two from the magista over one is a very very minimal improvement the giant fit collar here is sort of improved it's a bit more anatomical going to shape around your ankle a bit better the upper is not the softest on the market it's very similar to the Magista over ones flying it upper it's not the softest by nike football and this dotted application on both sides of the boot really helps to sort of add a bit of friction between the boot and the ball what the Magista Obra 1 sort of failed to do. Overall, it's a very sort of wide fitting boot, very sort of universal fitting, and you can sort of loosen it and tighten it the way you want, because it does have laces, and does have those rear cables to lock down your foot into the shoe. Overall, a definite improvement. Are you a fan of the colorway, Matt? The colorway isn't so much for me. I do like Volt. I've obviously got the finish myself at the moment, and that is a Volt colored boot. So the Volt itself, if it was solid, I'd be a big fan of it. However, the whole heat map design, it's a little bit outrageous for me, especially with those kind of shop pink, total orange colors i do like the hyper turquoise the kind of blue there with the vault it's a nice colorway however those heat maps isn't so much for me there is a different colorway coming out though very soon is that right yes there is the elite pack version as well it's a sort of secondary version it was recently released by nike for them. so it's pretty much white and gray seafoam green vault and yeah it's a bit of a minimized version of this reduced number two launch design is there going to be a pitch dark edition of the Magista over 2? There is going to be a pitch dark edition. It's going to be all black, nice and solid. A black colour boot is what I'd go for. And I believe there's going to be some total orange colours with that, which is a little bit like the shirt you're wearing. Yep. It could represent the footballboots.co.uk colourway. So it's probably a pair of boots that we're going to get in. So if you are more of a traditionalistic player and you want that classic colourway, then the pitch dark one is going to be for you. And so guys, that is our review of the Magist Obra 2. Are you a fan of the Magist Obra 2? Yes or no? Please vote in our poll card now. Thank you very much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.
Yeah, 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 yeah